everybody, this is Nerva, give me another episode of Europa Universalis 4. Couldn't remember. And we're the Cherokee, so let's begin, at, or let's just continue. I'm just gonna move the picture here. There we go, straight back. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's because I'm Twitch, I have the wrong picture showing. I had a full face of mine. Um, for those of you on YouTube, uh, down here there's actually a picture of me on the live stream. In the video. Ooh. And let's continue seeing here if we can get a little bit closer to England. Um, we want to get cozy. Uh, well, self-sustaining, and we get one extra base tax, which is pretty nice. And I do believe that we'll send it here because that's the quicker way around, I believe. And oh, let time pass. And see here, spread culture, form an alliance, prove with Upper Naki. Uh, are they our vassal? I don't actually remember. Well, we got the Hurons. We need to integrate now. And we might as well do that now. It actually did it take up a relation going into the Federation? It did because their Federation leader. Oh, didn't know that. Well, the Hurons are being integrated. Hello. And how is our relationship currently? It's 125 with the Lenape. So we've got the ships of them down here as well. Maybe we should actually start. Oh no. Start uh, getting off the coast here. How far away is this? This is based on only okay. Well, we will recall here and send you here. No mission selected. Improve with Cree. Are Cree one of our little guys? Don't think so. Nope. So don't want to. And how far with Abenaki? Well, it's actually not worth it, is it? Abenaki is just the Federation leader. No, that's Azabajoni. Abenaki, why in the hell am I improving with them? They are a vassal. Why can't I see them? Or am I just blind? As a Bajoni. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, Abanaki is Lenape. Oh, man. That's confusing. They're Lenape, but they're called an Abanaki. So, need to remember that. Uh, okay. Everything is going fairly decent. Just need these colonies so we can get over to those pesky Europeans here. And get our little bonus. It's still a colony, right? 
Yeah, it's still a colony. Version word by lack of protection, trade efficiency, gain. I would always like to gain mercantilism. As far as I remember, there is no negatives for that. Uh, nope, no negatives. So I'd rather pay a little bit uh, now for the long-term benefits of trade. Uh, okay, no more ferocity or load ferocity. Uh, we get the Hurons here. Hey, we're 85th. We've got a score. Oh, uh, we got fish. Not the best. I'm considering if we can afford keeping another colony up now. Because it could be quite nice, actually. Let's try and recall the merchant here first and see. We can't send here because, well, how far is it? It is 86 away. This is uh, so damn. So we could actually send it here. It's got a high um, value which will make it cost quite substantial actually I uh, th don't think it's worth it I think we have to stay with one colony right now especially considering we don't have another colonist go oh, got a diplomat I forgot to send him out that was a mistake uh, four lines with Queen, not interested. And let's see, who are we going to do? The Hurons are being integrated, chicks are... Ottawa, we need to go positive on those little guys, just quickly. Otherwise we'll maybe lose them. And I believe that foxes aren't the vassal of Ottawa, yeah. So it might actually be worth going all the way over there. Uh, not sure and <sighs> don't really care about that maybe council flip it off so discipline national manpower morale none of these really do matter right now so we'll take the cheap one for now due to the fact that we're actually okay on it uh, and I believe there was a plutocracy. Yeah, morale of armies, roll risk, and there. And the mercenaries, and it was. Um, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I think it was those we needed. So we're annexing here, we've got the colonists in Massachusetts. Considering if they can actually colonize here if I'm standing on the province, I'm not sure. Might as well try not to. We suffered casualties, we know that. Oops. Too many diplomatic revisions, come on, move along. So should we try and build? We've got a good amount of money now. I'm a bit worried that we're actually gonna lose. Well, fort level here. That's right, we got that. And I don't believe we're gonna lose this. When we uh, upgrade, well not upgrade, or when we um, uh, tech wise here did I just press no I didn't uh, stability gain mass of the mint inflation what's our inflation at very stable 
so. And I think we'll do that. So we got a little bit lower. Costing 150 admin power, which is, is kind of the same as uh, having one um, stability costs. That's what one stability would cost me here. So I might as well take it and lower the uh, inflation. Ending instead of having 1.6, we are now 1. Point uh, 0.6. So that was my idea of the re uh, reasoning behind doing it that way. Great Britain. Oh, didn't they just change? Weren't they England just before? Oh. I'm almost out of coffee. <laughs> hmm. How many natives do we have here for annexing? Holy moly. Quite a lot. <coughs> Were there two pro Oh, that's just that province. Um, basic build with local manpower modifier plus. I'm not sure we're going to need all that manpower because I'm pretty sure we're going to end up using mercs. Oh, sorry about that. I just received a message uh, from the... <laughs> or an email. Sorry. So that was why I looked down. It's because I'm arranging a Hearthstone tournament for the Curse community. Um, so... One of the guys just wrote me while recording here. So, <laughs> um, everything is actually doing okay. Can we stop this improvement now? Uh, I'm considering just leaving it running actually right now. Though I'd like to start before this one is annexing, and it's be done annexing in three years. Ah, well. We've got a good diplomatic reputation. So, spread culture. Pinaco, how much will that cost? It'll cost 120. No way that's worth it. Uh, tax income. There, there. We need a huge amount of gold to be able to support rebels. Uh, not support the rebels, I mean support the mercenaries. So that's the idea. Good. That will give us more money as well. So I know I'm spending a lot of money on this as well, but... Um, need to upgrade the country. I don't want to overextend. I don't see any reason for the Cherokees to go all out aggro away here. I would uh, just prefer keeping on uh, colonizing here. Yeah, that Great Britain now. Oh, and they got another one. And what is this? It's local defensiveness. Ooh. I believe that's the predecessor for being able to do rampants later. If I'm not mistaken. I don't believe we can build anything above rampant as a native though. But we do need some forts uh, for the rebels not to enter our territory, uh, to um, occupy the entire territory. Uh, stability or stability? Ooh. So, what do I want? Stability or stability? 
Well, unfortunately, no modifier. That will actually lower cost, I believe. Army maintenance. I think it's gonna lower it, isn't it? Uh, no, because we're not above our land force limit, of course. We're so way off our land force limit, so it's actually got nothing to do with it. Um, the ships are going there. And the other one has been proved by that much. So how much is it at? It's at 118. And booby de boop. We are upgrading the provinces we already have to giving us more money. How much are we at now? Is still at 16. Why is that? Uh, are we just got more expensive? Reinforcements. Oh, that's for losing troops. Okay. Self-sustaining. So, Massachusetts. Huh. Which one do we send at? How far off are we here? We're... Okay, I don't see this. There's... Arcadia is 59 distance away from the closed unblockaded province. Our colonial range is 60. Why the F aren't we able to get there? Well, we need uh, Kennebec, so might as well take that. Because it's the closest, and then we need these as well, of course. Abenaki. We lost the advisor of better relations. Oh, let's try this. 20%. Our colonial reign is 9. Oh, not colonies or is a coastal province. Oh, that's because we're natives. We can only do colonization just around the corner. So I'm not actually sure that this will count as being next to. So that also means I'm not actually able to colonize out here. Hmm. Huh. Uh, that changed some things. That means I'm actually more keen on going this way around, actually, because this will create a better border to England. Taking the bottom here is uh, good against uh, Portugal. This is a problem, giving them the ability to join in, but uh, got fur. And I think I'm going to end the episode here and see you guys in the next one. Bye.